Well, I don't know about you, but it feels so good to be able to hear about and talk about new job opportunities after the year that we have all had. And I'm so excited to do this next segment to bring even more information about possible jobs to you at home. Let's go ahead. Welcome back. Career Source Tampa Bay, John Flanagan, Kay Jefferson are with us today. Good to see the both of you. How's everybody today? Good to see you. Good morning. Doing great. Cut, you know, it feels so good to be able to talk about the positive side of things and people looking for jobs and finding them now after the year we've had. And one thing that's really an exclamation point, job fairs. And Kay, I know you've got a really big one coming up that you at Career Source, everybody's really passionate about spreading the word. Tell us about it. We do. We have a um, career fair coming up May 13th. It's going to be from 10 to 1. It's going to be a virtual career fair. So everyone can log in from home. If you visit our website at Career Source Tampa Bay, you can register. Um, currently, we have 75 employers and counting. So um, we're hoping by the um, day of the event, we'll have at least 100 employers. You know, Kay, you and I were talking before we got started about working from home right now, and I was sharing with you some of the fun about it, some of the challenges about it. But what are you hearing for the other jobs out there post-COVID? How's everybody feeling when it comes to getting back to work or being able to find new jobs or perhaps maintain the ones they had prior? Well, I think people are very excited to go back to work. I mean, I know I was very excited to go back into the office as well, too. You know, um, they're looking for, you know, the right opportunity. Um, they're being a lot more selective and um, having that opportunity to work remotely, people are looking for those type of opportunities as well, too. And, um, you know, currently at Career Source, we have two days where we're allowed to work remotely from home, and that's been a big positive. And I think with the flexibility of having the opportunity to do that, people are really looking for that type of work from employers. Oh, I'm sure. You know, well, John, I want to get you involved here. And I know we've been able to talk about this when we were in studio in mm -hmm. the past, the summer job connection. That is another passion of Career Source Tampa Bay. Give us an idea. Are we still having that this year? Can people still make note about it? Yeah, we are. And, and thanks very much for that. Yeah. So we're we're going to expand it even from from last year. We're going to serve anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred youth, um, probably on the lower end towards a thousand. But in three different and unique type of opportunities. One is that traditional paid work experience, we call it, where we match you with an, we match the youth with an employer and they are on site for up to eight weeks and up to 30 hours a week um, to really get a look at some of the careers and, and industries that are, that are available in, uh, you know, in, in Tampa and Hillsborough County. The other cool thing we're doing is we're also providing some career exploration opportunities for those folks or for those youth that may not be ready to enter the workplace yet, but may want to learn more about, you know, high priority jobs and high priority uh, industries. And then we're doing a third track, which is a leadership academy where we're going to serve about 55, give or take, um, youth in, in leadership development, which we thought was really cool. And we wanted to always add that. But now that we, we, we have the ability this year to do it, um, given some of the, you know, weird to say, but some extra flexibility as it relates yeah. to, to COVID. So we had a lot of youth that really wanted to be in person on the job. And we had a lot of youth that really wanted to do the exploration and the leadership. So it's been great. We've got, um, we had almost 3,000 youth apply. We've got oh, wow. over 200 employers. And believe me, I wish we could serve every single one. Um, so, you know, it, it's our goal within five years to be serving up to 5,000 youth a year. And we've got great partners, Hillsborough County, the Board of County Commissioners, again, all of our employer partners, our education partners at HCC and University of South Florida, um, and all those, uh, all those great partners and Hillsborough County Schools, I can't leave them out. They are a cornerstone partner. Not only do they help us recruit, but they also, um, they're going to place about 300 youth in their, um, you know, within within the school uh, within the school system this year, and the cool thing about the school district is they're kind of like this conglomerate that 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 just expands across industries from, you know, from finance to IT to construction. You've got all of these industries wrapped in this one employer. So it's, we're really excited about it this year. Well, John, we are almost out of time. So in closing, I want to make sure and send people to the right places. Say you have businesses that want to get involved with that summer job connection or any of the other programs from tuition assistance program for students to hot jobs. Is the website the best place to go? Yes. www.careersourcetampabay.com. There'll be, and you'll, on the top right, there'll be a link to click for employers and then you, it'll click right on the, um, the summer job connection program and you go right in the employer link and you'll, uh, 
you'll be able to access it there. Oh, I love hearing about that. So much excitement happening right now. And this is such a positive to be able to talk about today. Kay, great to see you again. John, great to see you again. Take care to the both of you, okay? Thanks, Bye-bye. Appreciate your time.